in my 22 years or something of playing guitar, I've never built a pedal board. I never bought patch cables. So that's, that's the confession I have, <laughs> really. Everybody else uses pedals and I don't. What am I planning for this year, you ask? I don't really know. I don't really know. The main problem with having a YouTube account is that at some point you're gonna reach that point where you don't have enough stuff to talk about, really. Uh, and I think I reached that point already. And since I'm not sponsored in any way, I don't get sent any products or anything, really. Um, I need a project. What's the project for this year? For me, maybe, I got, I got this. Some of you know. I bought this pedal, right? This Old Blood Noise Endeavors Fault 2. Now, I don't have a pedal board as of yesterday. I didn't have even a power supply. Um, but I got a power supply, so I bought one of those Keox DC7. Thought I might as well go with the top of the line stuff. You know, might as well, since I'm building this thing. Um, what I haven't decided on yet, though, is exactly what to put on the board except for that pedal really yeah let's talk about why so me deciding to buy or put in a lot of money into something that i might not need is maybe stupid the problem that i've had right now or like the past year is that i feel a bit left out actually uh when it comes to some type of gear i've always focused on guitars and like a digital modeler or profiler or whatever. Uh, that's been my main focus for the most part because I play pretty straightforward, right? I usually just have an amp, uh, an overdrive, some type of reverb. In this case, a little bit of delay as well. Um, never tweaked anything really, just put something that was fairly easy to use. Um, but I felt left out, major FOMO. <laughs> uh, and since I started maybe, I don't know, four months ago, maybe five months ago, uh, I, I started looking into the pedal world and holy damn, that's, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. But I kind of realized that, uh, man, pedals are pretty awesome though. They build things that sound a specific way and the only way to reach that with like the Helix or anything like that is basically to combine stuff and build them yourself and I feel like having a curated experience like uh, yeah like old blood noise they with all the pedals they do just it's nicer to me kind of because you have this thing where you have these knobs and you just figure out the sound that way so if we take a second and uh, talk about what type of gear I'm looking into um, there's so many things man I have I've decided on the fault as like the main overdrive and distortion um, I want to buy another one. I want to buy the Black Mass 1312 uh, as the type of like heavier distortion. I think I'm going to run these fairly, uh, fairly light and stackable, right? And then just have the Black Mass as the main distortion sound. It just sounds awesome. Uh, I think it's based on a rat actually, but it feels and sounds much better than a rat. I feel like a rat could be fine if I use it on a lighter distortion maybe, but if I want something heavier, I might need something that's a bit tighter, uh, but still has some of that rat tendencies, right? Um, so something, something like that. Then we fall into like the massive category of finding a reverb, a delay. Uh, yeah, I really like tape echoes too, so I, I can't decide. There's so many things to pick. 
So if you have any suggestions on a proper delay and reverb pedal or both, like either combined or separate or something, uh, I need I need help because there's a lot to pick from. I'm looking at the Dispatch Master. I'm looking at El Capitan. I'm looking at Avalanche Run. I'm also looking into Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Mainly three pedals. It's the Dark Star, the Procession, and the uh, what's it called? The Fountain, Black Fountain, the the Oil Can Delay thing. Um, yeah, and I'm also super into Tape Echoes. Uh, or tape delays. Yeah, so it's just a rabbit hole with a bunch of, well, a billion <laughs> different pedals to pick from. There's so many things. As for boards, if we're just talking boards, I've been looking into two different brands, actually. I've been looking into mainly temple boards uh, first because I like the locking thing with the plates they had, but after doing some research on that, it, that just feels like it's super annoying. Uh, so, Buying a temple board, it would just be, you know, the normal jewel lock strips, right? Where you, yeah, put that on the thing and put it on the pedals and yeah, you're good to go basically. Uh, especially since I'm building a studio board. It's gonna be a big board sitting here in front of me. Uh, and it's mainly gonna be for studio use. So all the pedals are meant for experimentation uh, and building interesting soundscapes and stuff, right? For whatever type of recording I wanna do here in my little studio. Um, yeah, so temple boards, like a big one, the Trio 28, like the big one, that one uh, seems like a good size. I'm also looking into a different brand from Finland called Solman, and those boards look incredibly nice. I mean, I'd love anything, wood and metal, really, <laughs> that just works for me. And since they have those modules, it just seems like a good idea. But I would have to add a couple of hundred bucks just to get the size I want, because I want a big big board yeah anything that I could make weird combinations and try things out right and then I'm also looking into fusses man it's so many things so many things yeah so that's the next part of this journey I think so for this year I'm thinking a pedal board build setting up my first board making it really nice um, and then just you know create sounds something that's easy for me to demo here uh, and we can have a look at them together. I feel like that's a good, good thing. Yeah. I think that's it, actually. In my 22 years or something of playing guitar, I've never built a pedal board. I never bought patch cables. So that's, that's the confession I have, <laughs> really. Everybody else uses pedals and I don't. Um, because I always liked how amp sounds and amp distortion um, for the most part. So now I would have to run things fairly clean into a fairly clean amp and then get my distortion from pedals. And that's that's a new thing for me. But it's gonna be an interesting journey, right? So that's what I'm hoping. Maybe do some pedal demos, talk about what stuff I'm buying for the board. Um, talking to you guys, if you have any suggestions, if you think temple boards is a stupid idea, maybe tell me fairly soon. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm probably gonna buy one fairly soon. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Other stuff for this channel, I don't really know. If you have any suggestions of what you want me to make uh, or create or film, please let me know. Uh, write a comment down below and uh, yeah, I'll make it happen, hopefully. I think that's it, guys. So if you have any questions about my gear uh, or anything else I'm gonna do this year, just shoot me a DM on Instagram or write comments here. I usually answer fairly quickly when it comes to all questions that I get. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. See ya.